So according to Matt Getz, Lloyd Austin is stupid. Um, and I mean, calling him stupid like that might be racism, honestly. Um, the, the, like the way you like, cause like no matter what Lloyd Austin is a black guy from Alabama. And I swear to God, the thing about Lloyd Austin, he's, is he understands that like he has been around Alabama enough to that. Like, I guarantee you there are situations where Alabama turns so hood that it's uncomfortable and it's like how did Alabama turn hood in like the most normal location and like I, I mean I'm just saying like Alabama's kind of like that um all right so um like someone from Alabama knows that all right so Lloyd Austin if I was to talk to him and talk about Afghanistan what I would say is uh, I don't think you're stupid for what happened in Afghanistan I just think you made a mistake and um, I think you're not the only person that made a mistake. And I think that it sure seems like the military doesn't care about its equipment and um, that they that they uh, that they assume they have an unlimited budget, basically. Oh, we'll replace that many half half million dollar Humvees. But those Humvees require massive amounts of electricity to produce because you have to really, really mess with steel. Right. Or whatever the material is, is used to make them um, armored. And it's the same thing with those APCs, the armored personnel carriers. And so, um, I don't know what happened there. I feel like moving those out, it's like you pretty much need like a plane for like every two of them or something like that. Um, I would think because uh, like with those armored personnel carriers, I'm sure they're very difficult to move out, but you could have moved them out to anywhere but Afghanistan. Like you could have driven them to another country. Like, there are other countries that, like, you call them up and be like, hey, can I just put these here? Like, I swear to God, like, I will not have any troops there. Um, I just need I just need you guys to watch over these for me because you guys are my homies. And um, I guess no one did that. Um, I think what happened is everyone was trying to, black, was trying to back the Afghani military. So um, everyone backed the Afghani military even though they knew they were, like, there was no chance. And now... Um, We've given up so many weapons to the Taliban. Like, I, the, what baffled me is the machine guns, because I can put all those machine guns on one bus, um, or on one on, on one plane. But I guess the reason that there were so many machine guns left there is because they were for the Afghani military. But it's like, why were they like, in like a, like right all put like in a stash spot? Like, why doesn't the why why don't the people have the guns with them? Um, all right, so. What happened in Afghanistan, is that an indication that Lloyd Austin's stupid? I think Lloyd Austin was trying to do his job, and he wasn't in charge of policy. And um, the thing is, like, what happened now with the Pfizer vaccine going out to the troops, I don't know what he's reading. But I know that John Kirby's reading it, too. And I know that they're not the only two. I guarantee you the Joint Chiefs of Staff is reading the intelligence briefings. And they know all kinds of shit. They know what happened in West Texas. Like, they know a lot of stuff. And so, like, apparently they don't think West Texas was a drug lab. Like, I mean, that's, that's like, or else, why would you put your troops in such danger? Like, it's just like, I'm going to force you. Like, even if, you, even if you're so sure, like, I, no, Pfizer's worked out fine. It's been six months. Everything's fine. Okay. Even if you believe that, because you trust the FDA that much, even though it sure seems like the process was expedited of approving this, and it was basically approved because so many humans had tried it. Um, so, even if you believe Pfizer is completely safe, like, do you believe that there's a risk? Well, like, what kind of a risk? Like, what percentage of, chan of a chance is it is there that, that that vaccine could turn that bad for such a huge percentage of our soldiers who are critical for our country's national security? Is there, if it's 5%, is that scary enough for you? It is for me. If it's 2%, is that like getting cancer? Like, would cancer scare you if you got skin cancer, and even though it's less than a 1% chance of dying? I think it would. Um, if you're told you have a 1% chance of, chance of dying within the next four or five years from something, you'd be scared of cancer. And so all I'm saying is, like, do you guys think there's no chance? Because if you think there's a chance and you're putting the soldiers in that sort of danger, it's like, 
is this like a, a general decision where you're like okay with risking your soldiers' lives because that's war? Like, because I, I don't think it is. Like, I think this is like people being pieces of shit and not giving a fuck about their soldiers. And you should give a fuck about your soldiers because even if I was a general who's like trying so hard not to care about my soldiers because I need to make sure that I'm okay with making decisions that will get people killed because I know that's just how war is. Even if like I don't want to be friends with them, I care about them. And I would never put their life in, in danger just for no reason. But I think you're doing, well, we're trying to prevent the spread within our ranks. And it's like, well, then... Like, maybe you should just, like, not do military stuff right now. I'm, I, I swear to God, shooting a gun is not as hard as you guys think it is. 